Hi, this is Terry Sinnett from Mode Skateboards. Today we're going to learn how to do flamingos. The flamingo is a trick invented by Kevin Harris. With this trick, if you're regular footed, you're going to be doing it counterclockwise. If you're goofy footed, you're going to be carving clockwise. So it looks like this. contact with the ground most of the time you could you don't have to be so regimented about it that we're fully in contact but if you listen you can really hear the traction of my wheels but here you'll see how I can lay lighten up on that a little bit I did that intentionally where I was letting the wheels come off the ground it's not 100% important that you're in full contact, but that full contact with the ground helps you keep your balance as you do that arc. With this trick, you'll start out rolling forward, but you'll end up rolling backwards for the majority of it. So you start rolling forward, you pivot off the nose, and you drag your wheels along the ground as you're doing it, and you'll end up carving around backwards. To learn the trick, I'd start by doing really short 180 turns using just your front foot where you drag the wheels. I just keep trying this over and over. It's a bit noisy though. And then as you get comfortable doing that, I'd slowly start to try to build and extend the turn and drag it out a little bit further. That's essentially all you're doing. And once you know how to do these, you can do them with a really tight arc or a really drawn out arc. It doesn't really make a difference. They both work. Once you get the flamingo down, you can start working on variations or figuring out ways to incorporate it into a line. One variation I like to do is to go from regular flamingo right into switch flamingo, but I don't do them switch as well as I do them regular. But I think learning regular flamingos or switch flamingos can really be done best by concentrating on doing those short little 180 turns off the nose, not worrying about dragging the trick out, just pivoting around and then slowly over time as you build up the leg muscles needed to control the board, you can stretch that arc out a little bit. I hope you find this helpful. Good luck. And let me know if you have any questions or if there's any other tricks you want to see. And please check out my other trick tips that I've done so far. I've done ones on the Paulinho, nose wheelie spacewalks, and cross-footed butterflips. Thanks a lot.